after downloading how to dock multiple ligands to a single protein using the autodock vena so first we are going to see how to download pyrx so open the browser and search for and search for pyrx pyrx download then in the search results open this first link sourceforge.io link okay now this web page will open and you can see there are different versions available first one is the free version next academic pro and enterprise we are going to choose the free version so click on choose and in this web page click on this download button and it will start to download automatically since i have downloaded already i am going to stop it now open the downloads folder this is the file that i have downloaded earlier so i am going to double click this file and the pyrx setup window will open in this window click on next and it will ask to choose the destination folder if you wish you can click on this browse button and change the destination folder so i am not going to change so click on next and it will start to install the pyrx it will take couple of minutes to install so please wait a few moments later now the installation is completed so tick these both check boxes and click on finish so that's all pyrx installation is completed success i am going to dock these three molecules to a single protein using the pyrx and autodock vena now you can see the pyrx is open so before going for docking i am going to change some preferences in the pyrx window okay so this is the toolbar here you will have file edit view and help so go to this edit tab and click on preferences the preference window will be opened now you can see there are different preferences first auto dock open babel and logger i am going to change some preferences in the auto dock even though we are using the vena choose the location for the auto dock and auto grid also because in future we are going to use auto dock also so click on this browse button and choose the location of autodoc4.exe i have installed autodoc in the c drive so i am going to c drive and i am going to choose the autodoc4.exe now you can see the location is updated similarly choose the location for autogrid4.exe also click on browse button and choose the autogrid4.exe now you can see the vena.exe file the location is already updated so i am going to just check so click on browse button you can see there is the vena.exe so that's all i have 8 cpus so i have chosen 7 cpus so inside this autodoc you can see there is a ligand preparation if you wish you can change these preferences also this is up to you and inside the open babel you can see there are energy minimization parameters you can choose the different force fields and the different optimization algorithm and in the auto dock ligand you can choose some of the preferences also so that's all i am going to click on okay now we have successfully set up the pyrx tool now we can start docking using the autodock vena in the upcoming videos we are going to see autodock also to start autodock vena click on the start button and in the navigator window you can see there are four tabs molecules autodock tvtk and maya v so after clicking on start button you should choose the ligands and the macromolecules in the vena wizard click on add ligand 
అండ్ చూస్తే లీక్ అండ్ దీస్ ఆర్ ది త్రీ లీగ్ అండ్స్ ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు యూస్ సో ఐమ్ గోయింగ్ టు చూస్ ఫస్ట్ లీగ్ అండ్ అండ్ క్లిక్ ఓపెన్ యూ క్యాన్ సీ ద లీగ్ అండ్ అపియర్స్ ఆన్ ది త్రీ డి విండో అండ్ ఆల్సో ఇన్ ది లీగ్ అండ్స్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ యాడ్ లీగ్ అండ్ అండ్ యాడ్ ది సెకండ్ లీగ్ అండ్ ఆల్సో యూ క్యాన్ సీ యాజ్ ఐ యాడ్ ది మల్టిపుల్ లీగ్ హ్యాండ్స్ ఇట్ కీప్స్ ఆన్ స్టాకింగ్ వన్ అబౌవ్ ది అదర్ సో ఐమ్ గోయింగ్ టు చూస్ అనదర్ లీగ్ అండ్ so now i have chosen the three ligands next i am going to add the macro molecule click on the add macro molecule and choose the appropriate macro molecule this will take few seconds a few moments later now the macro molecule is also loaded when you are adding the ligand and macro molecule keep an eye on the navigator window also see now the macro molecule and the ligands are loaded here so next we have to select the ligands so we have to select the three ligands using the control button click these three ligands and using the control button select the protein also after selecting the ligands and the protein click on forward button as you can see we have started here and we have selected the molecules and we can run vena now okay now we have to choose the search parameters okay that is the center of the grid and the dimensions of the grid to choose that click on so expand a little bit and click on this maximize okay and you can zoom in the 3d viewer also here you can adjust using these different balls okay using this you can specify the search parameters you can keep the grid around the active site so keep the grid around the active site and keep an eye on the center and the dimensions so adjust this center and dimensions according to your requirement and after adjusting the center and the dimensions click on forward now it will start docking the first ligand is docking the second one is going on now the third one is also started now the docking of the three ligands against the active site is completed and the result are shown here each ligand you will have nine results okay and uh, in the view tab go to the tables section okay in the table section you can see the name of the ligands and you click on this tab docking results here you will find the binding energy okay in the bottom you can see after the run vena step we have arrived at the analyze results tab here you can see the different poses have generated the different binding affinity and you will have rmsd also after this vena docking is completed save as comma separated values click on this and you will see the save window choose a location and save the file after saving open this result file
here you will have the binding affinity and rmsd values okay for the three ligands and different poses that's all docking using the auto dock we now is now completed so thank you for watching if you want to know how to analyze these results further please comment i will post in the next video